Okay, we have here t is a list of 100 different numbers that are greater than 0 and less than 50. The number x is greater than 60% of the numbers in t, and the number y is greater than 40% of the numbers in t. And in quantity a, we have x minus y, and we have the number 20. So a good way to approach this problem is to sort of test out different scenarios. So we know that y, let's start there, is greater than 40% of the numbers. So let's assume that we have a bunch of 1s. It doesn't say that they're distinct, any of these numbers. And then y is going to be, let's say you have 40, this is going to be the number, 40 number 1s. Now you have number 2, which is equal to y. And you can see that, okay, well, y is greater than 40 of these numbers, because there's a total of 100 in there. Let's say there's 20 y's. Then, imagine x is here. Imagine x is 3. x is 3. And we know it's greater than 60 of them, so maybe we can have 5x's, 10x's. It doesn't matter, because we've established x is 3. And we can look down here. 3 minus 2 would give me 1. b would be much greater. But let's keep the same information here. Let's say instead of x equals 3, as long as x is greater than 60% of the numbers, and of course we're assuming there are other numbers over here close to 49, which is the high range, that are greater than x. But as long as x is greater than 60% of the numbers, we're going to keep x, we're going to keep the 41s here and the 20y's here. Everything is valid. So we're going to move x up to 40. Again, it's greater than 60%. Y is still greater than 40% of the numbers. But now what's happened? Well, if x is 40, 40 minus y is 38. And of course, x can be any number out here. 45, 46, doesn't really matter. And so like that, we can see, well, the answer can fluctuate wildly and be much greater than 20, be much less. We don't know. Therefore, the answer is D.